Over 3,000 passengers were met by dancers while disembarking the ship. Present at the welcome ceremony was Minister for Tourism, Arts and Culture, E.C. Henry Leonard, Pacific Encounter delegates, representatives from PNG Tourism Authority, Milin Tourism Bureau, provincial government reps, and other stakeholders. Minister Leonard says the arrival of the cruise ship is great news for tourism in PNG. For me, that's great news. And this signifies the return of tourism. We will now see a surge in our tourists, a surge in the number of cruise ships coming through the country. Now we will see more of tourism. And for me, I would like to see more of tourism in the country. So that we can now showcase, showcase our culture, our beautiful environment, our pristine environment, our reefs and seas, and our forest water that these people want to visit and see. Modakula Kunuyombu, the acting manager for the Milin Bay Tourism Bureau, said the same sentiment, saying that by having the PO ships back in Milin Bay and Papua New Guinea as a whole creates a huge potential for business opportunities. He also named the other ports in Milin Bay province that the Pacific Encounter will visit. Ship always goes to Kiruina, cruise port, and then it goes to um, uh, Kitawa. Uh, there is a port there that the uh, ship used to go and dock. And then uh, it goes to Conflict, Conflict Island Resort. There is a port there. And then, um, um, we have a uh, Doini previously, but um, now for some reasons the, the port is not receiving the tourists. With the borders open, Milin Bay is expecting more PO ships to visit in the next three months. Estagane, National MTV News.